Hi everyone, so today is my first day at my new practice. I've got my name badge ready, my uniform ready. I'm wearing my uniform because I'm in the car today and I'm going to be covered up in my car, um, which is okay. And I've got clothes to change when I finish my shift to come home in. So yeah, don't panic guys. So I'm out, my uniform is off hair is down whoop and it's only about half past one so i am done for the day that is me so i had a, an amazing first day it was just that the first day of induction showing you around going through all health and safety that sort of thing all the um forms to fill out and the hr stuff to do so that's all i've really done today tomorrow is going to be an exciting day i'm going to be sitting with one of the other nurses and sitting in on the clinics tomorrow and just seeing the sort of things that they do and the routine and all of that jazz, get myself settled. The good news is they use EMIS and that's the system that I'm used to. So that's one less thing to worry about guys. But everything else, the routine protocols, all these sort of little things, I just need to get used to and learn. But yeah, so that's it for now and I'll see you all tomorrow. Today I'm doing my first smear test. A mixture of excited and very nervous. Let's go. It is now Thursday, it's my day off as always, I have Thursdays off all the time even though I'm at a new practice, there we go, I'm loving it. So I didn't get a chance to vlog much yesterday after my smear test and then in the afternoon I sat with the asthma specialist because they're going to train me up to be an asthma nurse there and COPD as well so that's dead exciting because I haven't done that before in the previous clinic and um, they had their own sort of specialist nurses so I didn't do any of the specialities as such. It's really really nice to get stuck in and actually do something different now. But anyway, more of that later. So let's talk through the smear test. So as you've all seen, I've done my training at the university, see the previous vlogs for that. And then I had to observe five being done by my mentor. And then I had to do five smear tests um, with my mentor supervising me to just see that I'm doing it all correct and doing the consultation correct and I'm able to find the cervix okay. To be honest, I was really excited, a little bit nervous, but I was actually more excited because I was learning a new skill. However, I did four yesterday and it's a lot more trickier than you think. I was thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be simple, but actually it's not. It's really not simple to find the cervix. It's like going into a little maze and then you have to sort of wiggle around a little bit and find it. But I think that's just because I'm new. I am new. I'm training. I'm learning. Um, but it, it was really tricky and there was one that I couldn't, really couldn't get at all um, and my mentor had to take over. But that was okay. And um, that was actually a really tricky one anyway. And even the doctor couldn't really find it. And they had all sorts of problems with it. So that was okay. But all in all, I think I did okay. It, it was tricky and you do have to learn all these different techniques and positions to put your speculum in and things like that. I think that will come the more I practice because I ha I've never done this before. So this is all new to me. But as a first starting, I think I did okay. I think. And the feedback I got as well from my mentor was good feedback as well. I just happened to have all of the really sort of difficult sort of people to find a cervix on. It was just the look of the draw that day that I did get tricky ones. Tomorrow, I'm back in tomorrow. So I'm hoping I'm going to get some more smear tests in. Fingers crossed, they'll be a little bit easier to find and navigate my way around. We'll see. So for the rest of the afternoon, I sat with the asthma specialist nurse, like I said, and she's incredible. Like she's got, she did a whole degree in asthma um, as a separate thing after she did her nursing. And I just thought that was amazing. And she also used to work for HEE as well, Health Education England, and she used to teach asthma. So I've probably got the best person ever teaching me asthma right now. I feel so proud and privileged and honoured to have her teach me. And the aim is she's given me time so she's gonna um she'll be leaving in april she says so she wants to train me up by april just to do what i can with the asthmas and just get good at doing really good asthma reviews with patients and to be fair i think that's a really achievable goal between now and april 
I think that will be possible because at uni we had loads on asthma, loads on COPD. So my knowledge on asthma is actually okay. It's just the things like what to do if something happened or um, the different types of medications that they have, the different ways that I can issue medications because I'm not a prescriber. So I have to send it to the doctor to get the doctor to sign it off, sign it off. But it's getting my head around those little bits and absolutely making sure that my patient is safe. I always want patient safety at the end of the day. That's all I've, I, I always pride myself on patient safety. It's the one thing that I will always do and it's why I became a nurse after all. So yes, as long as I can get all of that and be safe and competent and get my patients well on their asthma as well as they can be, that is my goal. And to be honest, I'm really excited about this because asthma was always my favourite topic at uni, asthma and COPD. I understood it just, I don't know, it just clicked like that for me. So, and I, I remember, I don't know if anyone that's watched that final exam that I had, MP4 exam, I was praying that I got, um, I think it was Phil and a COPD and sepsis. I was praying because it was the one that made sense to me. I knew it. I understood it. I knew that I would smash that exam, but we didn't get it. So I was a bit gutted. But yes, asthma is, is probably the one that I'm more leaning towards rather than um, diabetes and hypertension. I understand asthma a lot more. So I'm really excited to actually be doing asthma, COPD and all that jazz and hopefully say the nice guys so that is what you've got coming from me in the future i suppose because i'm going to be doing that and as always some if i'm learning something you're going to learn it with me because i'm going to t teach you everything that i know um obviously not teach you because i'm not i'm not a teacher i'm not a trainer i'm not qualified anything like that disclaimer guys Okay, so that is it for now. Tomorrow I've got baby imms. I know, baby immunizations I've not been looking forward to. I've managed to escape it for the last 10 months, <laughs> but I've now done my training and I'm going to be sitting in and starting to do those with obviously supervised with my mentor. So um, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow, guys. And that's it for today. Not, not, just not, just no. It's the weekend, so it's Saturday, it is my day off. I didn't have a chance again to do my vlog yesterday to let you know how the baby ims went. So, in the morning I was with an amazing nurse and we did some smear tests, some dressings, some little bits and bobs like that in the morning. I did a lot of training stuff, so looking up things um, like how to refer patients, how to do the prescriptions and the different ways of doing things in that surgery because it's completely different to my old surgery. So it was just learning about them sort of things, them little details that's going to make a big difference when I start doing my own clinics. And then in the afternoon was our baby ims day. I had my lovely unicorn scrubs on, which I'll put here just in case you didn't catch them the last time I wore them. They're going to be here. Um, and I love them and the kids love them. The baby ims went really, really well. Uh, I couldn't believe how amazing it ran and how organised it was and how everything was just like done, done, done. And I was just like, wow, is this it? Okay, I can do this, guys. I can do this. So it just gave me that little bit more confidence that I can actually do the baby ims now and you're never alone either so there's always two of you so you've got two checkers doing everything so it's very safe make sure everything's done properly so I'm actually really really happy actually I went home just so relieved and happy and thinking actually yes I can do baby ims now because before I was I was a little bit dreading it if I'm honest she went really really well and I don't actually have many worries now about it it's just doing it and yeah, stabbing babies isn't going to be fun. But the way it's organised and ran, I felt safe and I felt actually this is something that I can do. So bonus. So that's it. That is my first week in my new practice. It's all in all has been amazing. Like the difference it has made to my life already with the earlier finishes, not having to travel so much is just amazing. It's been so, so good. And the staff are so lovely, really, really supportive. I feel like I'm having proper inductions and being shown things properly. And it's just, it's, it's just made a massive, massive difference. And I'm really, really excited to get back into it Monday and do it all again. So yeah. So so that is it for now. As always, the more I learn, the more I will tell you and the, the, the more I go on and progress, I'll tell you all about it. Um, so for now, have an amazing week, everyone, and I shall see you all next week. Bye.